So continuing where we left off, the yellow curve is showing us the component of the variation in December state college temperatures that can be explained by El Nino. In a particularly strong El Nino year, where the Nino 3.4 index is say as large as plus two, we get a December temperature that's about one and a half degrees Fahrenheit above average. That is to say that 0 0.0 0 0.74 degrees Fahrenheit that we get for one unit change in Nino 3.4. For particularly strong La Nina event, we get a negative 0 0.74 degrees effect that we get for the negative Nino 3.4 anomaly of negative two or so. We get, sorry, a negative 1.5 Fahrenheit cooling effect for negative two or so. So the influence of El Nino is small compared to the overall variability of roughly four degrees Fahrenheit in the series, but it is statistically significant, at least if we are able to motivate a one-sided hypothesis test. If we had reason to believe that El Nino events warm state college temperatures in the winter, then the regression gives us a significant result that's significant at the 0.05 level, the standard threshold for statistical significance. Okay, so that may not be that satisfying. We're not explaining a large amount of the variation in the data, but we do appear to be explaining a statistically significant fraction of the variability in the data. Now, finally, let's look at the residuals from that regression. And what I'll do is I will get rid of these other graphs. Let's keep year, let's change this to model residuals. I'm just going to plot the model residuals as a function of time, and that's what they look like. There isn't a whole lot of obvious structure. And in fact, if you go back to the regression model tab, <clears throat> you'll, and we look at the value of the lag one autocorrelation coefficient, we'll see that it's minus 0 0.09. That's slightly negative, and it's quite small, close to zero. If we look up the statistical significance, it's not gonna be even remotely significant. So we don't have to worry much about autocorrelation influencing our estimate of statistical significance. We also don't have much evidence here of the sort of low frequency structure in the residuals that might cause us to worry. So the nominal results of our regression analysis, analysis appear to be valid. And again, if we were to invoke a one-sided hypothesis test, we would have found a statistically significant, albeit a weak, influence of El Nino on state college December temperatures.